Alrighty guys, Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden Dale Garage here in beautiful Alabama. It is Friday. Yeah. The weekend, baby. Mm-hmm. And I've got a full one. Anyway. Mark Gallardo. Okay. Is that like the Lamborghini Gallardo? Hmm? Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway. Mark. <laughs> All right, brother, you ordered this thing, and here it is. It's all done, ready to rock and roll. I finished it uh, late last night. It was like 12 o'clock or whatever the hell it was eh, you know, after I did that uh, custom build. So it was like kind of crazy. But anyway, she's all done, ready to go. Here she is. We're going to go ahead. We're going to boot it up right now. It's a Trinity model. got an HV3, 320 gig drive, up on Alliance servers, along with a 10-day trial of the Purge Epilogue Edition. And uh, we're going to go ahead, and we're booting it. And now what's going to happen is, I'm going to place you over here. I'm sorry I'm using this desk. The other desk is full with the other dual hand I got and any other GTA 5 giveaways that I'm doing. And I'm doing everything under the freaking sun. So anyway, she's going to boot up into uh, FSD Dash. There you are, auth on GTA 5 The Purge. And we're going to have one more. And welcome to Alliance. All right, now let's rock and roll through this, shall we? Under emulators, okay, Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360, and MAME, over 4,000 ROMs on there. That'll keep you busy if you're into retro. Xbox Classic Games, Brothers in Arms, and we have Halo Edition, all right? And then, of course, we have our homebrew section, where all the tools reside that you can really screw this console up with, okay? We have Dash Launch, XM360, XCX Menu, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Voice Changer 360, Simple Name Flasher, FX Menu, Flash 360, and Back to Dash Launch. Now... Xbox Live Arcade and myriad mind-boggling amount of arcade games, including Trailer Park King and Goat Simulator and all that kind of good stuff. Yes, loads and loads. And then, of course, we have our regular Xbox 360 games, okay? We're going to roll through this now. All right, we have Advanced Warfare, Warface, Tomb Raider, Super Street Fighter 4, Splinter Cell. Um, we have Sega Superstars, Tennis Saints, Row the Third, Red Dead Redemption, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Hitman, Halo CE, Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Gears of War, Fear 2, Defiance, Call of Duty World of War, Black Ops 3, Ghost, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 2, Both Storm Epic Edition, Borderlands, the Police Sequel, Borderlands 2, Battlefield, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, and back to Advanced Warfare. And I did not miss a beat on that mother. All right, now, to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. Go to Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash the A button one more time. You will be magically transported to the original dashboard. You are. Hello again, Mark Galliardo. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. D damn, I say that with such flair. You currently have 30 reserved days left. Got it good. Okay. Now, we'll bypass the sign-in. And as you can see, you're up, you're online, you are live, our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD, and then over in our fifth tab, our ghost sheets and modern warfare three cheats. And then, of course, to get back to FSD Dash, just smash the A button next box. Home. Now. All right. Now I explained all that freaking mess. Okay. Mark, a certain way that you have to do this for the first time when you boot it, okay? This is a one-shot deal, so I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. When you get this crazy thing, what I want you to do is this, all right? First thing I want you to do, I want you to pull a hard drive on it, okay? Place it up there. Then I want you to plug the power cord in. Then what I want you to do, I want you to boot it. When you boot it, you're going to come to the FSD, uh, the, excuse me, you're going to come to the regular dashboard. When you come to the blackboard screen, slide to the right. Go to system, go to settings, go to network settings. Under network settings, okay, click Wi-Fi, and of course your Wi-Fi adapter uh, adaption point will pop up. And you will click on it and put your password in. When you do, it's going to initialize a test. It's going to check mark off land. And, of course, it's going to fail on the Internet and fail on Xbox Live. Now, when it completely fails, shut the system down. Then, once you shut the system down, what I want you to do, I want you to take L hard drive, put L hard drive back in the L Xbox. It'll see what it clicked. Pull the uh, power cord on it. Put your drive door on. Okay? And then what I want you to do, I want you to let it sit for about three to five minutes, Okay? Once it sits for about three to five minutes, the reason why we do this is we want, to, we want to clear the SMC and make sure that it's all, you know, we're starting off clean, fresh, with a clean, fresh, uh, clean, fresh slate, all right? Now, once that happens, then what I want you to do, I want you to plug it back in. I want you to turn the mother on, and guess what? You'll be good to go. So listen, brother, thank you for your business. Greatly appreciate it. We'll be shipping it off today, and Lorraine will have a tracking number for you by, to, uh, by tonight. So anyway, you all have a good one, guys. Holler at you later. I'm on to my next one.